I shall read you the poem. Um, the poem is called Another Walk, Part 1, King's Heath Part. Just for a bit of context, um, I love walking. Like, really fucking love walking. I, just, I could walk and walk and walk and walk and just... Like, I tell, like, sometimes the only thing that like, makes me go back home is that I need a toilet. I'm like, oh, it's a full day and I should go back home. Um, but yeah, I love walking. And when I wrote this, I wrote this poem sat in my local park. It's called King's Heath Park. And something that I was just thinking about whilst writing it was that, um, oh my God, I'm really sick of being known as the depressing poet. Uh, because I see lots of beautiful things and like, I love people watching and just seeing how incredibly unique and beautiful people are, humans are. And a lot of the time, a lot of the time that brings me out of really dark heads, you know, head spaces. Um, it's just watching other people and seeing people just being weird. Like, oh, that's cheered me up. Um, so yeah, that's the context behind this poem. I was feeling a bit sad, so I went for a walk in the park. Another walk, part one, King's Heat Park. Sometimes I put the world on mute and just watch the bodies talk. Lads on a bench, not speaking. Look out onto a Muslim fam family playing cricket. They remind me of good times of my own. The father is still in fresh Juma Silvara Kameez. The young girl wears a dress I might once have had to. It's humid. A dusting of rain on our necks, fine as sieved flour. Two hijabi women on another bench crane their necks back and laugh. I don't hear it, I can't hear the laugh, but... One of them has their eyes closed shut, crow's feet shuffling, ready for flight. Clutching the other woman's shoulder, the, the other holds their belly, a nodding of the head, she's definitely laughing. I touch my own belly and smile and enjoy being a woman right here in this second. Pray God protects them and keeps them laughing. Not laughing, but laughing, like proper laughing, man. I smile at the dog walkers, smile at the kitten-eyed couple on the bench, smile at the teenage girls giggling at something on a phone screen, smile at the woman with the backpack and bright purple hair, smile at the wife who follows three feet behind her husband, smile at the breakdancing mum, smile at the now empty bench beside me, smile at my bulging nipples, smile at the mountainous clouds and the calm of trees and their shadows and the thirsty grass and the hole in the hedge exposing a woman rolling on the grass trying to find a comfortable position to lay in to look up at our sky, man, look at up there. We got the sky out there, how beautiful! Closing its eyes over us, sighing, content. Man, I have smiled so much, my jaw has locked. It's a nice feeling. Half smiling hurts. Hope hurts too. A nicer kind of hurt though, I guess. It feels good to be outside. It feels good to be alive. It feels good to be less alone in the whole, what are we doing? So, what are we doing? Side note. Remember to mention this to the psychiatrist on Monday. Thank you very much.